Welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed binary coded crossover operators in a genetic algorithm. In this video, I will discuss the real coded and order coded crossover operators in genetic algorithm. The first real coded crossover operator is single arithmetic crossover. In this case, uh, we need to select two parent chromosomes for mating. As discussed earlier in genetic algorithm video, we need to select two parents uh, for mating. To select two parents, we need to use the fitness score. That fitness score is calculated with the help of fitness function. So first we need to apply fitness function on the initial population or the previous generation. Once you apply the fitness function, you will get the fitness score. Based on that particular fitness score, you need to select two parents for mating in this case. Now you can notice here I have selected P1 and P2 for the mating and then we need to apply the remaining steps of crossover here. If you notice this particular P1 and P2, this P1 and P2 has three genes here and each of those particular genes containing real numbers in this case. So that's the reason it is called as real coded crossover operators over here. The second step we need to select one single gene. Uh, in this case I have selected this second one as the gene for crossover here. Once you select this particular gene, uh, next we need to select something called as the alpha parameter. So in this case we have selected the alpha is equal to 0.5. It will be given as a part of problem definition or you can select it as randomly over here. Now once you select two parents, the gene as well as this particular parameter, the next step is to identify the value for this particular uh, kth gene here so that you will get the new offspring in this particular case. So that can be done with the help of uh, this particular equation. That is O1 is calculated with this equation and O2 is calculated using this equation. So this is uh, nothing but 1 minus alpha. Alpha is known to us. So 1 minus alpha multiplied by P1k that is P1's kth gene that is what we have selected. So in this case uh, 12.76 here. So this will be 12.76 in this case. Similarly alpha in this case we have taken 1 minus alpha here it will be alpha. Alpha value is equal to 0.5 here multiplied by P2k that is nothing but 19.41 here. So this will be 19.41 over here. And once you put that particular alpha value and solve it you will get 16.08 in this case. So that will be the O1 in this case. Now if you want to calculate uh, O2 again uh, we need to use the same equation but here rather than writing uh, P1k we write P2k here and then here rather than writing P2k we write P1k over here. Again once you solve this particular equation you will get uh, 16.08 and O2 is equal to this is the new offspring over here. Coming back to the next uh, crossover operator that is known as uh, linear uh, crossover. Again we need to select uh, two parents uh, for mating. I have selected P1 and P2 for this particular purpose. Next, uh, we need to select the kth uh, gene randomly. Again, we have selected uh, the second gene for uh, crossover and this is named as uh, kth gene in this case. In a linear crossover, we need to select the number of uh, parameters over here. Uh, first one is alpha and second one is beta. If you select alpha 1 and beta 1, then you will get uh, one offspring that is O1. If you are interested in uh, two offsprings, then you need to select alpha 1, alpha 2 and beta 1, beta 2. If you are interested in three offsprings, that is O1, O2, O3, you need to select alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and so on. Now, uh, in this case, I will discuss how can you generate uh, three offsprings using uh, two parents over here. So, if you want to generate the new offspring uh, for OIK, that is uh, OII means you can say that the offspring number, it may be 1, 2, 3 in this particular case. Uh, here, the equation is alpha I P1K plus beta i p2k here. So alpha i means uh, for the first one it will be alpha 1 and beta 1. For the second offspring it will be alpha 2 beta 2 and for the third one it will be alpha 3 beta 3 over here. p1k uh, this will be 12.76 and uh, p2k is equal to 19.41 because we have selected that as a gene for crossover over here. Now once you put those particular values in this particular case that is this equation as I said earlier o1k is equal to alpha 1 p1k plus beta 1 p2k and once you solve this part I think you will get 16.08 o2k will become uh, 9.43 and o3k will become 22.73 over here. So once you get this particular thing uh, you need to put those particular things in this particular uh, first one you will get uh, the new offspring over here that is o1 o2 and o3 in this case. So in this video I have discussed uh, real coded crossover operators in genetic algorithm. 
in the next video i will discuss uh, order coded crossover operators i have already discussed the binary coded crossover operators the link for that video is given in the description below i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching